Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can use a feature of light in Unreal Engine that will help you create better and more compact lighting solutions, but also do it real quick. That is the indirect lighting intensity, which I'm going to demonstrate to you and also show you why you might be using this feature and think that your lighting scenario is not working and that this feature has some kind of an issue. It most likely doesn't, but the video will show you why that is true. Now, as you can see in this level, I have my kind of basic third person starter content. I turned on skylight and basically created only two sources of light, which is here a single light and another light right here. I'm going to turn both of them off or take them out and create a rack light right here as, as well as a spotlight and show you how this lighting intensity, indirect lighting intensity is actually influencing and modifying the scene. Now let's try it out with these sources of light. As you can see, the scene is well lit. It comes from these two sources and now we're going to turn both of them off. I'm going to simply take them out of the scene or delete them. First, I'm going to delete this one and then this one. I need to rebuild, but first I'm going to add another rec light here. And let's rotate it like this. Ah, that's better and move it basically to the wall uh, to get more of the dynamic reflections and lights let's place it right here in the corner spot now I need to rebuild the lights so the the ones I took out are gone and this is what remains I'm going to do it here build lights only it's going to take just a couple of seconds so I'm going to keep it on I'm not going to cut the video, I'm just going to keep talking while it happens. But the reason I'm going to do that is to basically explain, as you can see, here is my level now. It's pretty dark and we can kind of go towards that light and here it is. And as you can see, it's not giving away too much of an emission. Now, we want to actually modify a single variant of that light which is going to be the light volume indirect lighting intensity and here's the catch if i move this from one to let's say five chances are that it's brighter but not that brighter i'm going to build lights only again so the purpose of modifying indirect light intensity is to actually gain more light from the same light source through only that single feature and how it the same light kind of behaves in the world and here we are this is the key reason why so many think that their feature is not working or that it might be broken or that something happened to it as you can see it's basically the same thing as previously now we, what we're going to do is not to modify any other elements just to crank up the indirect lighting intensity by a lot so let's put it to 500 and we're going to build lights now again build lights only so it's not five it's 100 times more it's 500 and the result should be visible immediately after the light build is done and here it is here is the level as you can see we have our shadows it's emitting a lot more light around here and my level looks completely differently as you can see i have the same light here it is burning shining bright and giving away precisely what i wanted there is the decreasing amount of light my corners shadows and everything else that is one of the key points to make here is that you need to experiment based on your level and other factors especially when you're a beginner and you have no clue what to set up and how with the intensity 
not by simply saying it it's let's try double or triple the same amount for example from going from 5 to 10 or 15 no you should multiply it by hundreds and try it out at that point as you can see in this case going all the way to 500 actually did the trick even though you'll find a lot of tutorials that kind of advice to i mean not a lot some advice that you should do a lot smaller changes people do that and then think nothing changed there is no difference something is broken it's not possibly it's an issue from all the versions of unreal engine that might impact the way how this feature or this parameter is actually being used in newer versions of unreal so don't immediately think that something that's working it's probably working you just need to crank it up by a lot more and with that you actually have a good possibility of experimenting in any kind of light because the same factor here under light is present in all of them i think or most of them for sure in each of those cases you can get this kind of cool difference in actual light intensity without manipulating any other factors any other parameters of the same light source so there you have it if your indirect lighting intensity is not working just do it <laughs> a lot bigger in terms of value and it's going to kick in for sure that's it for this short Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you consider subscribing and staying around on my channel for future Unreal Engine videos. And of course, if you want, please leave a comment or a question in the question box below or the comment box. There are other ways to support my channel as well. They are all in the link in the description below or the links are in the description below. Check out those as well. But subscribing and liking is more than enough for me. Again, thanks so much for watching. My name is Ivica and I'll see you on my next Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.